What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to two more episodes of Hunter Hunter. Episodes 82 and 83. Um, I think you guys on Patreon asked me to do three episodes in a row, but um, I'll be honest, I'm not feeling the greatest today. And I don't, I'll know, <laughs> I don't really remember the exact episodes. I thought maybe it was like 83 to 85. Well, I don't know, but maybe that. But anyway. You guys will get 85 this week. 84 and 85. It will just, I think it's gonna... Like I said, I don't know scheduling-wise. I did write a schedule yesterday, but then... Um, Attack on Titan, that threw things off, so I wrote a new one. Um, And then today, I... um, I think, like I told you guys, uh, well, at least on Patreon, um, I didn't go to bed until like 10 a.m. and then I got woken up or 10 30 a.m. and then I got woken up at 12 55 um in the afternoon um by my dad and then I couldn't fall asleep until like 5 p.m. and then I went I slept from 5 to 9 ish a little after you know and I like the whole time I felt so nauseous but hungry at the same time but like whenever I would eat things it's like it wouldn't help and like i was just eating crackers like just to be light and it like it wasn't enough but like i didn't want more at the same time i don't know if that makes sense it was just it kind of felt like my stomach just it's like it wasn't getting the food at all and i'm like but i wasn't overeating i really i wasn't eating enough but like nothing made the hunger go away like it and it wouldn't make the nausea go away either so like it didn't it made me not want to eat like i ate i just ate a bagel and some strawberries, and I, I can still feel that, like, I'm hungry but nauseous at the same time, and I had myself a good cry, like, 30 minutes ago, because I just feel like, I'm the type of person where it's like, I set a schedule for myself, and I don't like, like, I can handle, like, maybe one, th one thing throwing a kink in it, but, like, if it's a handful of things, work-related schedule-wise, at least, it, it, well, actually, every schedule. It really, it gives me a lot of anxiety. Like, you know, one, the thing that stresses me out the most lately is I don't want to disappoint anyone. Like, okay, for, yeah, like, for example, my friend Ray, I haven't seen in a long time. Every time we plan a day to hang out, either something comes up for me or something comes up for him. So I ha I've been trying to plan a day to, to meet up with him for like two weeks now and nothing pans out. And I feel like maybe he's getting upset. Or, but he's not, I know he's not that type of person, and, you know, he's cancelled on me as well, so it just, like, it's not like I'm the only one doing it, but I still feel bad, and, like, now I feel like I'm gonna, I might have to cancel on him again on Wednesday, because I don't want to disappoint you guys, like, I want, because I have other obligations on Wednesday, too, like, for example, I have to take my sister to go get her hair done, and it's not just, like, a haircut, it's, like, a process, like, she's getting, like, her hair bleached and everything, and, I just they feel like she's gonna be there a while and then also she the lady she might do my hair just depending on how, where it's at she's gonna take a look at it so it's like i might be there for fucking four hours i don't know so then there's that and then i have to try to make time that day to go out and see him and i have to work and already i feel bad because i didn't upload anything to youtube today or yesterday so i'm like well at least upload something to patreon you can make up for youtube like tomorrow maybe just try to or whatever someday this week make up for it so i don't want to disappoint you guys i don't want to disappoint my friends i don't and then my sister she just got a new game and i promised her yesterday i would play with her after she got home from school but then i felt like shit so then i just feel like i don't want to let anyone down and i just feel like that's what i'm gonna end up doing i'm just gonna end up letting everyone down i the one you guys or at least getting this tonight, even though it's late. And I did end up playing the game with my sister for a little bit after I took a shower, like, while I was waiting for my hair to dry, because my hair takes a while to dry. But, um, so, like, I played for an hour with her, and now I'm gonna record after, like, um, after I ate and try to, like, let my stomach settle. I'm just talking too much, I know, but you can skip. Uh, I'll put something in the beginning, probably, like, you can skip the intro, but, um, yeah, so just... I don't know, I don't, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, I, I don't, I don't take this, like, job lightly, like, I, I don't, I hate letting you guys down, I hate not uploading, 
when I feel like I haven't earned the right to take a day off. Like, I took a day off yesterday, which should, which was fine, because, like, I recorded three days in a row with you guys, which is the thing I set for myself. Record three days in a row, then you get a day off of recording. Three days in a row, day off of recording. And if you have to take a day off in between, you, like, an extra one, you double upload the next day. Like, so, if I didn't upload something today, I would have, I would have, I don't know, like, I would have just, it would have eaten away at me all night, even though I don't feel good, so, I know I probably like i could but i just it just feels wrong like it just doesn't i don't know if that makes sense but anyway i do feel a little better now though so I, i'm fine um and i'm thinking like once i start the episodes i'll i'll it'll like the enjoyment from hunter hunter will kind of i think just make hopefully this feeling in my stomach go away he's giving me anxiety by scratching at the door like that incessant like, stop. Like, it's making my heart race. <sighs> okay. Anyway. Chimera Ant Arc. So what I was saying last time is, I feel like, right now, the ants, if they're not yet, they will be, like, the apex predators. Like, they are at the top of the food chain. They are probably going to be, like, the ideal, like, evolutionary, um... I don't know, like, they're, hmm, what am I trying to say, like, they are the, the peak of evolution, the apex, like, they cannot get any better, right, like, they, I think, have surpassed humans at this point, well, maybe they will, I don't know, they can't use Nen yet, but I'm assuming they can use Nen, since they have humans in them, but I thought Nen was in everything, but maybe animals can't use Nen, but maybe the wolf could, Right? Kill was? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, though. But at least I know humans can, so they are... A big part of them is humans, so they should be able to. Um, what else? And so, if the king comes out, they can't eradicate humanity because that's their food source. That's how they're going to maintain this level of intellect, but, like, um, or maintain their, um, their, their spot, like, at the top of the food chain. So, and evolution, like, that's why they're stuff. Anyway, but what I'm trying to say is they can't get rid of them, otherwise they're just going to, um, what, what's a good word for that, like, revert back to their more basic state? Like, they'd just be regular ants at that point when they kind of, oh, uh, they could eat bugs or, like, animals and shit, but they won't be as good as they are now, right? So, mainly because, like, they won't be as intelligent. Right? So, they can't get rid of us completely, humanity. So, what I'm thinking is they might try to pull, like, a, like a Promised Neverland, like a farm kind of system. Or, where, you know, like, they just force humans to breed. Something like that. They have to really make sure they're not overeating, you know. Um, anyway, anything else? Do I want to say anything else about it? Um, so I was thinking, like, I didn't say it in the video because I didn't think about it afterwards, so... The guy, how I, you know how I said, um, G Gyro, was it? Um, I thought the king was gonna, like, take after him, like, his personality, but I forgot that she's eating, like, a hundred humans a day, maybe more. Well, men people, people with men can use, are considered a thousand people, but whatever, anyway. Um, but they're rare. What I'm trying to say is, he's got so many different people and, like, animals or whatever, organisms, in him, so he's not any one person. So I don't really know where his personality, where her, where his personality is going to come from. A lot of him is probably that, that underground drug ring. I forgot what they're called again. Uh, NGL. But, um, and what did Kite say? They're like the worst possible people you'd want these ants to take after. So I guess they're terrible people. <laughs> um, worse than Hiska? Well, he hasn't met Hiska. But anyway. Um... But yeah, so, uh, I don't know when he's gonna get introduced, but I'm hoping soon, because I'm getting antsy, like, they're hyping him up so much, I just want to see him already. His character design, I want to know what his personality is like. Um, I wonder if he's gonna be one of those characters who's, like, evil, but also at the same time, like a Hisuka, like, you're charismatic, you know? I don't know, we'll see. 
Anyway, other than that, though, um, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> so let's jump into the reaction, guys. Like, who would be worse? I feel like that that horse would have been worse, but at least this rabbit didn't have slaves. But then again, this guy's kind of he's he's really reckless. He just acts p based on emotion. Um, he's worse than Gon, really. I mean, he's super territorial. Like, way too much. You took it so far last time, they were like, what? In the vicinity of his horses, and he freaked out? Like, they weren't gonna take them, and he just flipped shit. Oh, man. These fucking ants, dude. This is not good. You can just see it, like... Uh... When the fuck, man? Colt! You need to step the fuck up, man. Like... You've lost all control at this point. What the hell are you gonna do? I, I don't know. There's no way he's gonna rein these people in now. Already they don't respect him. They don't listen to him. Now, one has discovered Nen. Probably one of the worst that could have discovered it. And I don't know if, he, if he's the worst, but I don't know. The horse is dead, so maybe he is the worst at this point. Or, I mean, even that, like, that scorpion lady, I feel like she... See, I don't know, though. Would it be worse for someone who's more calculated to get it? Or someone who's just reckless? Like I said, acts purely based on emotion. And just, like, lashes out. I don't know. I feel like the person with a, a level head would be more dangerous. Because that's the person that's going to be, like, plotting things behind your back. And they're unpredictable, but... This guy, you could, he's predictable. Like, he's just gonna keep lashing out like he is. Now, if you have the power to put him down, I think you'll be okay. But he seems like he's really strong. So, I don't know. Um, what else? What else do I want to say? Um, I really like Kai's power. But yeah, I think I was wrong about it being just, like, one bullet. Because didn't he use that one sniper a couple times on the ants when they first met him? The little baby ants. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Oh, what else? Um. La 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 la. I love the the music. It's amazing. La 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 la. La 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 la. la, la. Um. I'll click through it so I don't forget anything. Ah, uh, intro. Um. Yeah, he, he just confirmed again that it's bad that these people, uh, from the underground drug ring, drug trade, whatever, were what a lot of these ants are made of in the king. When you go like that, I just want to kill you more. Oh, I haven't read that before. I probably because I was crying. Oh, God, he's so fucking, well, he was twisted. He's dead now. Um, yeah, mm. The one thing they had on the ants at this point in time was the fact that they could use Nen, but now they've discovered it and it's only going to be a matter of time before they master it because these fucking ants master things incredibly quickly. I mean, they learn at an incredible rate. I mean, this is like just, it's, they're like geniuses, all of them. I mean, I don't know. Like, maybe, like, a normal human, but genius for them. I mean, obviously, some of them are more rash than others, but, like, they just have, like, almost unlimited potential, it seems. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, they're not all geniuses, I take that back. But, like, yeah, unlimited potential. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Dude, Killua's such a badass. She tried to poison him. He, so smart, plays, I don't want to say dead, but, like, played paralyzed. He, he pretended to be unconscious, and I love how they, like, twisted the camera. They flipped it upside down. Um, they kind of made it seem like she was looking upside down or something. Like, because she could fly. I figured she just flipped herself upside down, and she was like, whatever, flying like that, just just because. And then, in reality, it's because Killua twisted that bitch's neck. Oh, Oh, that was so satisfying, dude. I was like, yes, because I was so scared that I was wrong about him being um, immune to poison, but mm, I was right uh, for once. That was just cool, dude. Like, 
<sighs> it's sad but cool. Um, I told you going can be unpredictable sometimes, dude. You shouldn't assume you know everything about your opponent. Like, you need to study him a bit longer. But it was cool how he could like run a simulation. That I thought it was gonna be more OP, but it was just kind of based on I don't know basic basic knowledge that he gained. They were just more so assumptions. He I thought he was gonna be more like a supercomputer, but he really he he wasn't. Um, <laughs> I have no bad turns. Uh, anything else? Yeah, wait, 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 wait that girl. Ah, uh, fuck. I want to look at her one more time. Doo, doo, doo. So the rare humans should still be near the factory. Okay, like what is she, dude? Like she looks like she's just wearing clothes, but she looks completely human. I don't know, dude. They're getting even more human-like. Maybe she was made with just a human being. And that's why she doesn't have any, like, bug or animal parts. Maybe they're just gonna look like normal humans at one point. With, like, maybe some of them might have wings or, like, a tail, but, in ears. But for the most part, I think that they're, like, almost completely human. It's kind of scary. Uh... I have like some scroll situation going on here. Anyway, um, I don't know what else to say about this episode, so I'm gonna end it there for this one, and we'll start the next one uh, shortly. But yeah, uh, what is it? Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch those on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so check that out. I think we're like at this point, we're gonna be almost 10 episodes ahead on Patreon for Hunter Hunter. I really gotta catch up for YouTube. Anyway, but yeah, um, I'm gonna get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.